Welcome back to RC101 with the Taoist Flyer. I like RC aircraft that can sense their environment, and the motion intelligent hover is the first one that I've seen that can actually tell where the floor is. Silverlit was nice enough to let us test out this early version, so let's take a look. The aircraft is controlled by a motion sensing transmitter, so to go forward and backwards, you tilt the controller forward and back, and to turn, you tilt the controller left and right. There is a manual throttle control to raise and lower the aircraft, but the helicopter can actually control the throttle on its own. You see there's an infrared light and receiver that are mounted to the bottom of the aircraft. The infrared light bounces off the floor and it hits the receiver on the bottom of the helicopter, letting it know how far away the ground is. When you want to start flying, you press a button that starts the rotors, and the helicopter will automatically rise off the ground about a foot and stabilize itself. Then it'll climb up a few more feet and try to hover about 4 or 5 feet off the ground. There's actually a switch on the transmitter that will determine if the helicopter automatically hovers low to the ground or higher up. You see different floors and lighting conditions will react to the sensor differently, so the switch lets you find the hover height that works for you. When you launch the aircraft, make sure you hold the transmitter level, because it actually reacts to every motion, so you really do have to pay attention to it. The aircraft is gyro-stabilized and it's well-constructed, so it has a good steady hover. The tilting transmitter works when it comes to controlling the aircraft, but I do find it a little awkward. It's not as quick and precise as a joystick either. It's a little easy to oversteer, and it's a strange aircraft to crash. Usually in a crash, you just let off the throttle. But with this aircraft, the throttle's automatic, so the aircraft can't tell if it just crashed. When it crashes, the throttle just keeps going, and you need to press the stop button to get it to quit. The first time it happens is a little nerve-wracking, but after that, you find that you keep your finger on that stop button at all times. Once you start getting a feel for it, you'll notice that you can control it, but you do need to make adjustments to the throttle, and you do constantly need to keep the transmitter level. It's definitely a brand new way to fly, but honestly, it's something that you really have to concentrate on. I do like the floor sensing technology, and I hope we see it on more helicopters. I was able to fly the helicopter around with the motion sensing controller. It is a very well-built aircraft, but I do prefer a joystick for precision flight, even though the tilting transmitter is cool. The floor sensing tech in this helicopter is a great step towards making an RC aircraft that can fly around your living room by itself. I've noticed Silverlit is usually one of the first companies to make these types of innovations in the consumer market, so I give them props for it. The MI Hover will fly for about 7 minutes and charges from the transmitter in about 30. There's no USB cable, but it has a nice sleek look and even a nice little light that you can turn on and off with the transmitter. It'll be out later this year, and we want to give a special thanks to FlyingToys.com and Silverlit for letting us test this one out. Thanks for watching RC101 with the Taoist Flyer. Subscribe and stay tuned for more.